when it used to be the game every season in the Premier League, the days when Manchester United and Arsenal have a look at some very interesting team news tonight for Manchester United. The injuries are piling up and they've also got Ashley Young suspended tonight. Seven changes in all for United. The back three is Bailly, Smalling and Rojo. Dallo and Damian are the wing-backs. None of the five started at Southampton on Saturday. And despite denying any rift with Paul Pogba, he's left out tonight, as is Romelu Lukaku. Both of them are on the Manchester United bench. Jesse Lingard and Anthony Martial come in. Is it a case of desperate times calling for desperate measures? As for Unai Emery, well, he wouldn't have wanted to change a team that was so impressive against Tottenham. But he's here tonight without Granit Xhaka, who's suspended. He picked up his fifth yellow card of the season on Sunday. So 19-year-old Matteo Guendouzi comes into the midfield. The other change is Aaron Ramsey, Henrik Mkhitaryan. And Ramsey is also the Arsenal captain tonight. And we could say good evening to Steve McManaman, who's alongside me. Steve, a raft of changes tonight for Manchester yeah, United. That is, Fletch. And as you said, to change that back five is incredible, isn't it? We think that's how they're going to line up. Let's see that front three, how... Nice and sprightly they are today. As for Arsenal, they take care of themselves. And Iguendouzi, a simple change for Shaka. And Aaron Ramsey, a skipper, has come in for an out of form Mikatari. But it should be a really good game tonight. Well, the mood around the two teams couldn't be more different going into tonight's game, could it? The 100th game between them here at Old Terra. Mustard scores it out to Martial, who's got Garnier outside him. But is he will be. Aubameyang looking to accelerate through and you might describe that as typical Italian defending from yeah. Damian to get the body in the way. Yeah, it was really good defending, wasn't it? This wasn't a bad ball, this by Iwobi. Aubameyang's off. Just a nice run to go across. Aubameyang by Damian. Nice and clever. One interest by Matteo Damian. Now Rashford. Looking to make some room for that. Here's Guendouzi. Behind Gallo again with the unfortunate Kalasinac. When Duzzi with the ball in and Bellerin. To be honest, the ball before Kalasinac should have done better, should have picked the Bami Yang out. A bit like the, um, the goal against Bournemouth a couple of weeks ago inside the defender. You see, Bami Yang makes a really good run trying to get in there. But instead of going across, he sort of pulled it slightly back, hasn't he, into Chris Morling's path. He has to be trying to miss him out. And this is the volley of manager. There's going to be a bundle of energy all the way through. Here's Iwobi, he just managed to get the wrong side of Eric Bayer. Swings the corner in anyway, which was met and cleared off the line. Goal. It's a goal. It wasn't cleared. It was Mustafi's header, which David the Hanger couldn't keep out. And Manchester United, under the goal decision system, have gone behind after 25 minutes. Manchester United nil, Arsenal won. And that's Mustafi's second goal of the season. Yeah, and it was a mistake, wasn't it? It actually wasn't a great header. He sort of half heads it, heads it down to the ground. I don't know where the catch is David De Gea unawares. Because he just parries it up in the air like that. And it... it is Marcus Rojo. And it's a flying save by Leno. Back in by Herrera. All the way through and in. Manchester United level through Anthony Martial. And Arsenal never really recovered from the initial save from Leno. And Martial was there to pounce for his eighth goal of the season. No expression from the manager, but it's Manchester United 1, Arsenal 1. Yeah, back in the game as quick as you like. From a free kick by, by Gwen Doozy. Nice hit by Marcus Rojo. Here to Marcus Rojo, who was trying to place it. And Rojo then just goes yeah, clean through well. Gwen Doozy. Now we've got a decision here for Andre Mariner. We can see the reaction of the Arsenal players. He shouldn't be doing that. What Leno's doing or Kalasinac's doing. Leave it to Andre Mariner. He's just booked Mustafi. He's going to book Marcus Rocker, that's all. You can see this was happening because all the Man United players went in. Yeah, it's a yellow card. It's not much more. It wasn't that high, was it? No. And Rashford leaves him for dead. And Mustafi as well. That's going to be a Manchester United free kick for the challenge. Yeah, I think it was. Brilliant really speed though by Rashford. Yeah, I just think he took everything. His right, his right foot was one side of him and his left foot just cleared him out the other side. There we go, one, one in front, one behind, just clears him right out. I don't think he's got any...
complains about that, Mustafi, has he? There you go, just in case. Space here for Ramsey. Arsenal streaming forward. It's Ramsey deflected. And behind for the corner. I don't know whether he would have been better trying to swat somebody in there. A makes a good run. Torreira's behind him. Bamiyang tries to open the pitch up. But he's got one thing in his mind. Ramsey has to cut inside and get the shot away. And there was never any chance he was going to get a full shot on target. Look at this pass though, what is Herrera doing going backwards from there? He's in a really good position, it's so negative to go back that far. It's his team in trouble, Matic has to do it. They're reluctant to cross it though, Steve, yeah, aren't they, Manchester yeah. United, when they get wide? Manchester United back three, which when you think about the makeshift nature of the United defence, you might have expected them to be more of a factor. More sorting out here for uh, Andre Mariner to do after the challenge by Bellerin. They have been a little bit disappointed by Arsenal, to be very honest, in the first half. I mean, I know they come good in the second half and they've shown that this year, but still, I've, I've expected more from them. Bellerin just a little bit late. He's got a yellow card as well. Not I'm not too sure there's a great deal he could <laughs> no, have done not, to avoid the challenge. No, not at all, no. The middle by Lingard at Serrera. It's an unnecessary well. yellow card for Lingard. Yeah, he's only because he he had a, a similar type of foul, wasn't he? A, a little innocuous one, but just to slow the game down. That's why he's got the yellow card. That's the second of the game, cynical one like that, because Serrera skipped past him into space. At least there's a bit of life in the game, isn't there, Fletcher? You can feel it. I don't mind. You know, people stop and people... There's Jesse Lingard and now Anthony Martial. Lucas Herrera was tracking back, Lipstein had got a foot in and then Bellerin was there to clear it. Credit the Arsenal defenders who yeah. converged on Anthony Martial so quickly. You wonder whether he could have just put it out in front of him on his right foot and took the shot on. As if he always wanted to get it onto his left foot. This was a lovely touch by Lingard, you wonder whether he could have just hit it. But once he cuts back on himself... You think he could have just hit it there. It's easy to say now, of course. Crowd urging Gallo to pull the trigger. Put back in towards Anthony Marshall. When does it? Kolasinac looking to spin in behind the deep. Kolasinac. Smalling defended it. David De Gea got a hold of it. But that's Marcus Roja thinks about the shot. Takes the shot. Gone side. Martial in the middle. Lingard arriving. As is Rashford. Lacazette, Mkhitaryan, it's Lacazette, oh. Rocco got back and it's found its way in, it's going to go down as an own goal, the initial error from Marcus Rojo, and what a bizarre way for Arsenal to go back ahead at Old Trafford, Manchester United 1, Arsenal 2, when you looks in, you looks in. Yeah, what a strange goal, as Tony Adams said, he can have a really big part of late tonight, Lacazette, I didn't think he meant like that. Still on the floor. I mean, I actually thought Lacazette done the wrong thing. Yes, it's a mistake by Marcus Rocco. Just gets his te feet tangled up. But this. So Manchester United. Whoa! Jesse Lingard straight from the kickoff. What a response from Manchester United. Jesse Lingard with his first goal since February the 25th against Chelsea. It's taken him 26 games to get one, but when Manchester United needed the response, they get it instantly. Emery can't believe it. Manchester United 2, Arsenal 2. Well, the boys in the studio have got in the money tonight. They said there was mistakes in the defensive area. What a mistake this is. I mean, talk about just a long... This and uh, Mustafi up there. It's in towards Mustafi, but too hard. Herrera gets it through to Rashford. There's the shot, Leno. Really off. Well, there won't be time. That's it. The full time whistle. And a handshake between Unai Emery and Jose Mourinho. Two men who coached against each other in Spain, and they've seen their teams battle out to a draw on a drizzly night at Old Trafford tonight. 
Skotran Mustafi with the opening goal of the night after an error by David De Gea. Anthony Martial replying quickly for Manchester United. 